<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Mr. President. Where Kenuri left off of saving Donald Rump, Rump, from being assassinated and getting a lot of money. And uh, we went through a lot of campaigns so far, and the, the woman one being the dumbest because tampons and and things like that. So let's continue where we left off. Next campaign. What? What, what are we doing now? And how? Jesus, what? This better not be like KKK related or anything. It's a no. What do you mean Rump did a KKK rally? I'm not sure if I should take the developer seriously, because I know for a fact Hillary Clinton is supported by the KKK, not Trump. Ugh! God damn it. Like, seriously! You can't say Trump is like a racist in the KKK way, because Hillary Clinton is supported by a Black Dragon member. Like, the highest member in the KKK supports Hillary. So, I mean, how would, tr how would Trump be found leading at a KKK rally when that literally, factually, is Hillary Clinton? Seriously, look it up. Alright, next one. This, this is a stupid campaign, but I mean... If you just take it... If you just take it entirely... Oh shit, it's, it's, it's falling on him? I think? Huh. <sighs> If you take this purely as a joke, and don't take anything seriously, I'm sure some people might find it amusing. If people come in this and they really hate Trump, maybe they'll relish the idea of having it so he dies over and over. Rump, God has saved me today so I can spread more hate. But I mean, if you're taking this as maybe a grain of salt that the developers really salty and really hate Trump, I mean... Then the misinformation being used in this can be kind of stupid. Rump killed by ninja. So I, I'm, I'm not sure if, say, I, I can't push him in the ninja. I need to push him away from the ninja. Like right here, maybe. Ugh. There we go. Now he's out of the path of the ninja. It's all good, because the ninjas can only look straight forward. Who is David Duke? What is a KKK? If you take this with the, the developer possibly having a political agenda, then it would honestly bug me. Socially acceptable. Come on. Because, I mean, everything turns to shit when you add politics to it. Everyone... No one basically disagrees with that. If anything has... What the fuck? If anyone has... adds, like, uh, a political agenda to a game, usually video games like that just turn to shit really fast. That was... Okay, then. So, I mean, if this does have a political agenda... It's a little disappointing, but... Stop jumping over him! There we go. Knocked him down into white power. Rump leads rally to make racial hate more socially acceptable. I did, this definitely has to have some political agenda too. Holy shit! So many ninjas! Well-known racist Don Ronald Rump found dead. Ah, jeez. Ugh. Eh, uh, uh, uh. He's just dead. Okay, so I gotta... This way! There we go. Ninjas are stupid. But yeah, I mean, this has to have a political agenda behind it. You can't say all these things made up is just like for the, the fun of it, because there's there's not really much fun out of this game. After you played it for 10 minutes, any fun you could bring out of this game is, is basically dead. I'm just beating this so you don't have to. You can see the ending, and if the ending's shit, or if it was all worth it, or if it was really stupid, I'm just doing it so you guys don't have to, basically. Rump ends rally with, beat the non-believers and use your Second Amendment rights. Okay. Alright, hopefully this is the fucking last one. He was elected in 2016, the walls went up in 2018, the bombs dropped in 2020. Wish you were here, New York City, 2024, and it's a post-apocalyptic world. Oh shit. And it's super fucking leggy. Great optimization. Where the fuck am I going? Holy shit, this is fucking leggy. Like, serious. Where am I going? What? The roof collapsed? Ugh. No, I... Uh, God damn it. Uh, seriously, this is leggy as fuck. My webcam might be bugging out. I apologize. Oh, well, now, apparently in 2020 or 2024, he became Hitler. Without falling over, please. What the fuck? Is, is he a cyborg? I can barely play this properly. Ugh. No! 
Hey, what the fuck is he? I had to look at him close up. Neil Rump, Supreme Wasteland Leader. So he's mutated in fat. He's wearing shoes, at least. What the fuck, though? How am I supposed to save him in time? Guess that I have to just not fall over or something. There we go! Fuck, finally! God damn, that level took like 10, 20 minutes for me to actually get to him in time. Neo Rump showcases new metal body to rule Gas Town. Okay, please tell me we're out. Ah, uh, back to here. Huh. Must. Oh, oh, so close! Come on, don't shoot him already. Uh, I can't get up the stairs. I'm I'm too stupid. I, I don't fucking know. Huh. Yes! Oh, just in time. There we go. That's more like it. Neo Rump reassures survivors dropping the bombs over a Twitter war was worth it. Oh. Oh god, the leg. Holy shit, it's even worse. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be balancing on lamp poles now? Holy shit. Oh god, it's a long way over there. Ah, oh, jeez. Um. Huh. Back and do a front flip too! Yay! Um, jump. Oh my god, where am I going? Where am I going? Um, oh, th through! We're going through it! No, we aren't. Oh, okay, let's try to do that a little better. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Huh, no! Jump! Okay, no, no, no. God damn it, I jumped way too far. You can't really predict the the dive power. You can just completely go... Uh-uh. You can just go completely, um... Just way, 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 way too far. You can't really control it. Oh my god, how am I supposed to fucking make that jump? Seriously. If I dive, I go too far. If I do a jump fucking uh, dive, I go way too far. If I do a regular jump, it's not far enough. Ah, oh, god, this game is just really getting stupid and obnoxious now. It lost all of its fun after the first, like, five or ten levels. Okay, what if I go around? Like that I don't even try. No, no! Come the fuck on, my hands hit it, and then it just blocks me. Really, I, this is getting really fucking annoying. Like, seriously, every time I jump through that wall, my character flies at the speed of fucking light in the direction, the direction I'm fucking jumping. There's, like, there's no way to just do a regular jump without flying at the speed of light. I'm not sure how many times the developer themselves played this specific fucking level and were like, Oh yeah, I beat it, you know, 10 out of 10 times. Not hard at all. Not obnoxious at all. We had to get through this fucking wall without, you know, flying out of fucking control. Like that. I, I just do a jump and I fly across it. Because apparently hitting a wall makes me accelerate my fucking ramming speed. It's really, really fucking annoying. Like, how many times I've played this, I can't, I, I can't tell you guys. It's just really fucking stupid. And it's getting on my nerves. I have a plan, actually. A genius plan. I'll jump up on this roof if my character would stop fucking spamming and get the fuck up. Okay, I guess not. My genius plan should work. I just have to have it so my character doesn't fucking do that. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna make it so I disobey the level and do whatever... What? An invisible fucking wall. Okay, there's an invisible fucking wall there to make it so my plan won't work. Oh shit, I made it on. Let's try it. Let's try it! Over! No! Wait, yes! Yes! Oh shit, I made it! And I can get stopped by that wall. Oh fuck. No! Yes, I did it! I crashed him into the wall. Oh my fucking god, finally. Fucking finally. Okay. Neil Rump makes sure all surviving women belong to him. The surviving woman 
Women. This level is fucking annoying. Get rid of it. Just... I mean, the whole game is pretty shit, but I mean, still. I'm still gonna beat it, unfortunately. What's the next level? Wow. What? The destroyer of world Neo Rump found dead. What the fuck is that behind him dancing? Now. Alright, this might be good. This might be good. This might be good. This might be good. No! Get up! Get up! Do it! Yes! Even if we make him fall off a fucking rooftop with a complete battle, he will survive. New Rump calls for World War IV. Finish what Hitler started. Really? God damn, how... Ah. Please tell me that was the last one. Okay, it was. Time Machine? I'm not gonna do the Time Machine until I'm done the wrestling minigames, so... Let's do this before I pull the fucking lever. I... What? 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 Am I climbing these? I'm actually climbing them? What? Okay. Huh. Huh. Oh, that would have been epic, too! Okay, so I can climb them and then jump. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Huh. Ow! I fucking fell. This will give me a little break from the stupidity. Oh! He knows he is sexy, the bodyguard! This will help relieve the stress that happened from the fucking really shitty post-apocalyptic fucking levels, that's for sure. Holy shit, those levels were complete garbage. Come on, reach him! The face! Alright, we got it, we got it. Oh! Oh! They just expect perfection out of you, it's really dumb. Now that was okay. Baby face. Hardcore legend! Okay, fuck this, I'm gonna... Oh! Smashed! What? Okay, sure. How many more? Um, what? Um... Oh, oh, wait. Just, just drop, just drop. Okay, sure, whatever. Well, he's... No, no, I... What's he doing? This is fucking weird looking. Ugh! Leap of faith. And... Oh, this might be perfect. This might just be perfect! Oh! That, 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 that was perfection. Wait, what? Sure, whatever, that, that worked. What? 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 Oh, I'll take it, I don't care. Don't care, did it. Shit, oh, not another one of these. Wait, what? What? Huh? Oh. Okay, that was well worth it. I didn't think you're supposed to actually like. Wait, what? Where am I? What? Oh, he's down there. The fuck kind of level design is this? No, seriously, like I'm on a circuit board. I'm I'm on top of a fucking tower. I don't think I've got it now. Gotta do the perfect jump somehow. Ugh. Do it! Why are you making my character stop his. I'm doing like an elbow drop, but it's like fucking it up at the last second. Like, look, I'm doing this, and then he starts. There! Fuck it! Fuck it! End chapter! I'm done! That's it, right? No more! No fucking more! You're just fucking done! I'm so tired of this! Tired! Time machine! What happens? What, what happens? You failed, huh? I'm supposed to actually shoot him now. 
There, I shot him. Success, Rump is dead. End game and reset timeline. Mr. President. Ugh. Made by Game Developer X. America is up. I wouldn't agree with that statement. I, I, I would not agree with that statement. America's 20 trillion dollars in debt. That's not greatness. You're on the verge of fucking recession. Uh, you, like, ah, it's, uh, America is not great right now. Back in the 80s and 90s, I remember Americans were sort of annoying because I, I'd hear them go, America, fuck yeah! You know, like, they, they'd show patriotism. I don't see that patriotism anymore because they're embarrassed. I, I, I get the feeling. I have a lot of American friends online. Not, all the, most people I know online aren't Canadian like me. They're from all around the world. And everywhere I go on the internet, I don't see American patriotism like I did when I was a kid. It's not that I see things differently, it's just... I don't think it's there anymore. I think people are showing a remorse for the current situation and they're just applying themselves in really stupid ideologies. But it, none of it is patriotism. It's just self-interests and political agendas and other horseshit like that. But I, I don't see American patriotism again. I, I don't think America is great still already. Uh, I, I don't think it's a great thing when you think of that your choices in presiden the presidential election are so intense where you can't vote for Trump without people wanting to send you death threats and like voting for Trump makes you like a racist, xenophobe, sexist, racist, bigot and like, voting for Trump, it it's just a choice. Voting for Hillary, you don't get death threats. Voting for Trump, you get death threats and people wanting to kill you and sodomize you. There's a weird hostility and tenseness in America that isn't just going to go away just because Hillary or Trump gets elected. There's going to be heat and conflict probably until a civil war or a World War III really happens and it's probably unfortunately what the world needs. I, it's like people are looking for a fight. I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's weird to really talk about it, because it's not like I'm a professional or an expert in the field, but it's just I don't see American patriotism, basically is all I'm trying to say. I don't think America's great when you have such fucking corruption. If you've seen the, the controversies surrounding Hillary Clinton, how she really should be imprisoned, the email scandals and everything else, she avoided being in prison because she's a celebrity and she's rich. That shows the corruption in every institution you have, like the CIA, FBI, because they couldn't convict her. And every one person, an agent, that wants to convict her because she broke the fucking law, she gets away with it, and she gives immunization to all those who were uh, targets of the case, so the subpoenas don't work on them. That is full-fledged fucking corruption. America's not great when you can't depend on your own government. That's not greatness. That's shit. It's... It's not democracy anymore, it's just... People think they have the power to vote when we really don't, obviously. It's... it's for me, democracy always, has always been the illusion of power, where you feel empowered because you have a chance to vote, and the chance to do things, and the options, but when it really matters, it's non-existent. It'll be taken away from you. Your freedoms and rights will not matter. That's why I never cared for voting, I never cared for politics, because it's just an illusion where the puppets and the corporations, they own everything. You're, you're just a little bitch. We're all little bitches to the corporations. We're owned whether we want to admit it or not. We are tools to the government, and we can't do anything about it un unless we change the status quo. I at least believe, that as annoying and stupid as Trump is, that he'd at least shatter that status quo of corruption. Whether he brings his own corruption, or whether he fucks up a bunch of shit, who knows? But the status quo right now, we know is broken. We don't need to bullshit ourselves or have any kind of weird remorse where since Trump is a moron or he says really stupid shit that, I don't know, that he could do anything worse. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. And 
I'm sure whoever wins the election, just my personal take, of course, whoever wins the election will, of course, find out what happens, and we will learn from those mistakes. If Trump is elected, and he does a lot of stupid shit, this will simply be a historical reminder of why not to vote for a Republican or a conservative for a while, but at the same time, if he's fine, and he's controversial, but he's fine, then it just shows give people a chance and don't attack people who simply have a different political belief than yours. Attack their arguments and their flaws and their shitty opinions on their beliefs. You can have a belief, you don't need to attack the belief, but attack the shitty foundation on which the belief exists. Like, you could say, I vote for Hillary, but you can ask them why, or Trump. And if their reasons are garbage, criticize that, but don't criticize who they're voting for. If their reasons for voting is just, I don't like him, his personality's shit, her personality's shit, eh, use facts. Use grounded logic, use critical thinking, use facts. Not, Trump is a moron, he says stupid things, thus no vote. Most Americans vote based on personality and how much like-minded bias you have to a person, or mommy versus daddy sort of thing. Don't do that. Most Americans will. Most voters will. Try not to do that. You may- you hate both of them, but vote for the ones that have the less dirt and shit on them. That's basically how I always do it, but that is my rant on politics. Um, I still want comment sections to be fucking civil. No bullshit, no attacking people. Attack, like I said, criticize the foundations of shitty opinions, but don't criticize, uh, but don't shit talk people based on beliefs alone. Beliefs, people can have, but shitty opinions, I don't like when people have shitty opinions. I, I, I always attack people with shitty opinions, that, that's just me, I'm, I can get pretty hostile uh, when it comes to people spreading really shitty, misinformed, misinterpreted, ignorant opinions. I hate ignorant opinions. If it's a well-founded opinion, even if I disagree with you, I won't argue with you. That's basically how I work. Outside of that, I hope you enjoyed this shitty game that definitely has a political agenda of how they hate Trump and uh, how they'll be the start of the world, how they're Hitler, how they'll start World War III, and how he's Putin's little bitch. Eh. I don't know, whatever. I, 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 it's not like I'm gonna get offended over it, it's just it, it got shitty pretty fast. The level design became worse and worse as the game kept going. Uh, any advertisement for this game is usually for the first few levels just to show the, the, the tameness, but further on it just gets more and more weird. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, thank you for watching, and leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, make a Mayfall subscriber. Until next time. <laughs> Scared you're going to do something stupid? No! I'm on webcam, talking to people, to a camera, and uploading videos on YouTube. Clearly, I'm not afraid of doing something stupid. I advertise stupid. You're running away, aren't you? No, I'm walking forward. Which sounds a lot more confident, doesn't it? You could say I'm running away, but I'm going upstairs.